This video is sponsored by Yellow Images. Hey everyone, welcome back to Effect for You channel. Today, we are going to create fast and clean fashion opener like this. So let's get started. Before the start, a quick message from today's sponsor. Yellow Images is the number one marketplace of 40,000 high quality premium mockups, creative fonts, images 360 degrees, and a creative store full of amazing graphic assets like lettering, icons, illustrations, patterns, brushes, UX and UI kits and more. Yellow Images mockups come in high resolution with great lighting, shadows, and texture that gives a realistic feel to the design. Using Yellow Images mockups in presentation makes the designer and his work look professional, you can find anything you want. Use promo code EFFECT for U20 and get a 20% discount. For more details check out the first link in the description. Let's jump into the After Effects, as usual. First create a new composition, 1920 by 1080, I call this main comp. Then create a new solid background layer. Select the layer, and search gradient ramp effect. Change the start color little gray color. Ramp shape radial ramp, and adjust the start and end point little bit. Now create a new composition, and I called this intro, and type your text here. Now go to main comp, and drag the intro comp into the timeline, then search fill effect, and change the fill color. Now go to 3 second forward, and trim the layer. Make sure you can trim this layer according to your choice, because this is all depends on your music. In the fast opener, you have to listen your music very carefully, and animate your layer according to your music. After trim the layer, go to first frame, hit T for opacity, and add a keyframe, and change the opacity 0%, then go to 1 second forward, and change the opacity 100%. Then go to again 1 second forward, and add a keyframe, then go to last frame of the layer, and change the opacity 0%. I think we need this keyframe little closer to the last keyframe. Cool. Now we need to add our images, so create a new composition. This is our image placeholder one. And here we have some images. So drag the first image into the timeline, resize the image according to your choice. Perfect. Now go to main comp, and drag the image placeholder one into the timeline. And move the layer. When our intro layer ends, then go to 5 frame forward, you can move frame by frame by pressing page down key, and trim the layer. You can also change the layer color, so we can easily identify our image placeholder layers. Cool. Now duplicate the image placeholder one and move when our first placeholder ends. Then go to project window, and duplicate image placeholder 1. Then hold alt key and drag image placeholder 2, over the image placeholder 1, and replace your image. Now again duplicate the image placeholder, and move when our second placeholder ends, Go to project window, 
duplicate the placeholder 2, hold Alt key and drag the image placeholder 3, over duplicate placeholder 2, and replace your image. Duplicate the image placeholder again two times. I am skipping this part so that you do not have to wait. After duplicating the placeholder two more times, let's see how it looks. Cool. After placeholders, now we need to add some text, so create new composition, and I called this text 1. Now type your first word. Increase text size according to your choice and align the text center of the composition. Now go to main comp, and drag text 1 into the timer line, and move forward, when our image placeholder 5 ends. Then go to 5 frame forward, and trim the text layer. Now we need to add background, so create a new solid layer, I call this background. Move the BG layer below the text 1 layer, and trim the BG layer according to text 1 layer. Now select the BG layer, and search fill effect. And change the fill color according to your choice. Now we need to animate this text layer. Hit P for position, and go to center of the text layer, and add a keyframe. Then go to first frame of the text layer, and move the text, slightly to the left side. Then go to last frame of the text layer, and move slightly to the right side. And move the key around one and two frame forward, select all key and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Cool. Now duplicate text 1 and BG layer, and move them together, and also move forward, when text 1 layer ends. Now we need to change the text 2, so go to project window, and duplicate text 1 comp, then hold alt key and drag the text 2 over the duplicate text 1 layer, and change your text. Now I want our text come from right to left, so hit U to show keyframes, go to center keyframe, and delete all keyframes, and add a new keyframe, then go to first frame of text to layer, and move the text slightly right side of the composition, then go to second last frame and move the text, little bit left side of the composition, then move the last keyframe 1 and 2 frame forward, select all keyframes and easy ease them and make your graph like this. Perfect. Now again duplicate BG and text layer, move them together, and move forward when our second text ends. Now we need to replace this text also, so go to project window and duplicate the text to comp. Then hold Alt and drag the text 3 over text 2 layer, and change your text. Now I want to change the text 3 animation. So go to center of the text and delete all keyframes. Then add a new keyframe, now go to first frame of the text layer, and move text slightly top side of the composition. Then go to last keyframe and move text slightly bottom side of the composition. Select all keyframe and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. If you want you can add more text layer, according to your choice.
perfect, it's look good to me. Now add some more image placeholders, so select all placeholders and duplicate them. And move them together, above the text layers, and move forward when our text layers ends. Now we need to replace all the placeholder, so go to project window and duplicate the last placeholder. Hold Alt key and drag placeholder 5 over the duplicate placeholder 1. Do the same with all placeholder layers. Perfect. Now replace your images. I am skipping this part so that you do not have to wait. If you found your image not fit perfectly into the comp, so apply motion tile effect. And increase output width and height little bit. And also check mirror edges. Cool. Now go to main comp, and add some more text layers. So duplicate all text and BG layers. And move them together and move forward when our last placeholder ends. Now we also replace the text layer, so select the text layer, go to project window and duplicate the text 3 comp, then hold alt key and drag over the duplicate text 1 layer. Same replace the other text layers also, perfect. Now change your text. Cool. I want to change the animation of last text layer, so delete all keyframe, go to center of the layer and add new keyframe. Then go to first frame and move the text left side of the composition. Then go to last frame and move text slightly right side of the composition. Select all keyframes and easy ease them, and make your graph like this. Perfect. Now add some more placeholders. So select three placeholder and duplicate them. And move above the text layers, also move forward, when our text layers ends. Now we need to replace our placeholder, so go to project window and duplicate last image placeholder. And replace with our duplicate image placeholder. Do the same with other placeholder also. Then change your images. Perfect. Now I want to animate these three placeholder, so hit S for scale, go to first frame, and add a keyframe, then go to last frame of the placeholder, and change the scale 150%. Now go to the first frame of the second placeholder, and add a keyframe, and change the scale size 150%, so our first image end with 150% scaling, and second image start with 150% scaling, then go to end of the second placeholder and change the scale 100%. Now select third placeholder and add a keyframe on scale. Then go to end of the placeholder and change the scale 150%. Select the keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Let's see how's it looks.
perfect, it's look good to me. Now add another text layers, so duplicate the text layers and move above the image placeholders, and move forward, when our placeholder layers ends. Now we need to replace the text layers, so go to project window and duplicate the last text comp. Hold Alt key and drag the text 7 comp, over the text 4 comp layer. Do the same with other text layers also. Then change your text. I am skipping this part so that you do not have to wait. Now I want to change the animation of text layers. So delete the keyframes. Then go to first frame of the text layer, and add a keyframe. And change the scale 150%. Then go to last frame and change the scale 100%. Now select the second text layer and delete all keyframe and add a keyframe on scale. Then go to last keyframe and change scale 150%. Now select the third text layer and delete all keyframes. Then go to first frame and add a keyframe on scale and change scale 150%. Then go to last frame and change the scale 100%. Select all keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Let's see how's it looks. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now add again some placeholders. So duplicate the placeholder layers. And move above the text layers. And move forward, when our text layers ends. And replace the placeholder. Go to project window. Duplicate the last placeholder. And replace with the timeline placeholder. Open placeholder and change your image. Perfect. I want to leave both placeholder with same animation. But if you want you can change the animation according to your choice. Now add another text layers. So duplicate the text layers, and move above the placeholder layer, and also move forward, when placeholder layers ends. Now we need to replace the text layer, so go to project window, and duplicate the last text comp. Hold Alt and replace with the duplicate text comp layer. I think I need only one text layer, so delete this text layer. Now change your text. And move text left side of the composition. Then duplicate the text layer. Go to 5 frame forward. And also move the text. And change your text. Then duplicate one more time. Move 5 frame forward. And change your text. Select all layers and move 1 and 2 frame forward. Now we don't need these keyframes so delete them. And increase the text and BG layer length. Cool. Now add again some image placeholders, so duplicate the placeholders. 
and move above the text layer and also move forward. Then again duplicate one more time both placeholder and move forward. Now replace the placeholders. So go to project window and duplicate the last placeholder and replace with our timeline placeholder, do the same with other placeholders. Perfect. Now replace your images. I am skipping this part so that you do not have to wait. Cool. We don't need the animation, so delete all keyframes and scale 100%. This all depends on you, if you want animation so you can leave the keyframes. Perfect. Now add our outro text. So duplicate intro and BG layer. And move above the all layer. And also move forward, when our placeholder layers ends. We need to replace the intro text, so go to project window and duplicate the intro comp. I call this outro. Hold alt key and drag over the intro comp layer. We don't need these keyframe. So delete all keyframes and change opacity 100%. We need to change the background layer, delete ramp effect and apply fill effect and change fill color. Also change outro color. Now animate the text, so go to first frame and add keyframe on scale and change the scale 150%, then go to 5 frame forward, and change the scale 100%. Now create an adjustment layer, and search sharpen effect, sharpen amount 20, then add on sharp mask effect, then apply curves effect and adjust the curves according to your choice. Cool. Now add letterbox effects, so create a black solid layer. Then search linear wipe effect. Wipe angle 180 degree. And transition completion 92%. Now duplicate the black solid layer. And change the wipe angle 0 degree. Perfect, it's look good to me. Our animation has done. But if you want to add color on your image placeholders, so search tint effect and change the white color. Similarly you can change the color other placeholders also, just copy tint effect and paste on other placeholders and change the color. Our animation has done. Hit 0 for render. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial, I'll see you in the next video.